she was killed on the streets of her constituency doing her duty as a local member of parliament helping people. She leaves behind a husband, a wonderful man who likewise spends his life campaigning for human rights and justice. And she leaves behind two young children, two young children who will never grow up to see their mum again. They can be proud of what she was, they can be proud of what she did, and they can be very proud of everything that she stood for. At the scene, police took a man into custody. A 52-year-old was later arrested. Mrs Cox's husband, Brendan, had earlier posted a picture of his wife on Twitter, leaving no comment. In a statement he later wrote, She would have wanted two things above all else to happen now. One, that our precious children are bathed in love. And two, that we all unite to fight against the hatred that killed her. Hate doesn't have creed, race or religion, he said it is poisonous. This is a vigil for Jo Cox, who was murdered today in her constituency, doing her job as an MP, representing the area she loved. Tonight, her husband Brendan is devastated and their two children have lost a mum they'll never see again. Lost somebody they can remember as a wonderful woman who stood for many things above all the principles of human rights, peace and justice and the love of her community and constituency where she grew up. She was an exemplary MP, a real servant of democracy in every way one could want or imagine. What's happened is beyond appalling. We're here tonight in silent memory of her loss, and we express, obviously, condolences to her family. And the statement that was put out this evening by her husband, Brendan, saying that we had to conquer hatred with love, with solidarity, and with support, is one of the most moving statements I've ever heard from somebody so recently bereaved. I'm surrounded by parliamentary colleagues particularly those who came into Parliament with her in the general election of last year of 2015. Because there's a special bond of newly elected MPs, the class of 2015, and they're grieving deeply this evening for the loss of one they admired, one they loved, and one who had everything to live for, everything to give to all of us in our society, our democracy, and our community. So we mourn and we're suspending all of our campaigning activities until the weekend as a mark of respect for her and a mark of her humanity and her determination to bring about the better world. That's what brought her into politics. That's what brought all of us into politics. That's why we'll carry on remembering her, remembering all she gave and being desperately sad tonight of the loss of such a lovely woman who had absolutely everything to live for. This is a shocking occasion, and I hope everyone realizes hatred will never solve problems. Only people coming together solves problems. Joe believed that, Brendan believed that, we believe that. I think I'm just grateful to everyone for coming here tonight and all the wonderful messages that have been sent to the Labour Party and to her family and to her constituents and all the people there that have come in in the past few hours as this shocking news has unfolded. Thank you very much for coming this evening. As we give thanks for Jo Cox, for all that she's done for our community, and as we pray for Brennan and the family as they mourn, and so many friends, uh, we pay tribute to what she's done.
yet the numbers that came here and the diversity of the people in here demonstrates the work that Joe's done for the community and how highly she has she's regarded here. To be honest I think what stood out for me always was Joe's amazing energy she always had a smile on her face uh, she always had a new idea she was you know you'd call her the energizer bunny you know she was out there wanting to fight wanting to do things wanting to make things happen she wouldn't take no for an answer um, and and that was what I think defined her you know she was she was out there working hard every day she was our mate I mean and she was tireless in the things that she cared about but she was also such good fun yeah to be around I mean I think that's for all of us look she was an amazing MP but we've lost a really good friend today and, and I, I can't believe she's gone I, I, I can't imagine what Brendan and the family are going through right now I can't, I, I can't imagine it I you guys walking back in there and her not being on the benches with a cheeky wink yeah it doesn't seem real she's gone it doesn't seem real um, how could somebody who was so full of demanding energy, so <laughs> full of life, who frankly set an example for us all, how can that person be gone? It would be so common to see Jo arriving just in nick of time for a vote because she'd been cycling like a maniac from it's Tower Hill cycling, yeah. in her cycling gear yeah. because, you know, she would always be there for her kids, always there to tuck them in, always there to make sure they got the evening meal. They were there to greet us the other night and I cannot imagine what the, the family are going through and it's such a massive loss. And it's what she would have done next. I mean, yeah. she's only been here a year and already she'd achieved so much, especially for refugees and raising causes around Syria. It's that knowledge and insight and steel and an absolute conviction politician, absolute conviction politician, as well as being a fully paid up member of the human race, I think representing the very best of what politics should be about and just what Hum, you know, humanity is about. Yeah, that's, it's that's not just us who's lost someone, it's those who are most vulnerable in the world who've lost their most formidable champion. That's what we've lost. It's the moment where we need to realise what we've lost. We've won one of the gutsiest, most principled, intelligent, brilliant women I've ever had the honour yeah. in my life to know. And all we yeah. care about tonight is how on earth we carry on without Jo by our side because she kept us all going. Exactly. Jo was brave. I mean, she, you know, she endured that. You know, a lot of us get a lot of difficult times on social media and that, mm -hmm. but she, you know, she stood up because she knew she was doing what she believed in, and and I think I think that was true testament to her. That's that's the difference she was prepared to make. Exactly. We 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 talked about it on on Tuesday night. As, as, as Brenda and her husband said in this statement, she is someone who have absolutely no regrets yeah. about yeah. anything she's done in her life. You know, she, she knew what she stood for. She woke up every day thinking, how can I change the world? And got absolutely stuck into it. And that is the example we all have to follow. And yeah. that's the, it's that spirit that we now need to just take the baton and yeah. absolutely run with. Yeah, absolutely there are, amazing. There are, there are people safe in the world because of Jo. Yeah. Yeah. And absolutely. that's what she stood for. Yeah. And she lived that every day. And we just have to keep fighting for what she believed in. Yeah.